Kansas Wildlife and Parks public lands have something to offer each day of the year. Even on the hottest afternoons, a slow drive through a managed natural area can yield a treasure of outdoors learning. Maxwell Wildlife Refuge near Canton is such a place. This 2,500-acre area is devoted primarily to wildlife viewing and offers one of the nation's finest looks at remaining prairie habitat. Inexpensive tram tours offer close-up looks at buffalo and elk that graze the high-quality grasslands at Maxwell. But the road system also allows excellent auto viewing opportunities, as it did this past weekend on newly emerged prairie butterflies. Regal fritillaries were particularly noteworthy. These colorful insects, often sought by butterfly enthusiasts for their beauty and scarcity, were easy to find on common and butterfly milkweeds. Some flowers were packed with regals, which is listed as a species of concern for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Regal fritillaries are found only in high-quality prairie that is rapidly disappearing. Seeing them in numbers at Maxwell is a satisfying and encouraging sign for this Kansas public area. Regal fritillary butterflies are unusual in several ways. They feed on prairie wildflowers and produce just one generation each year. Males can be distinguished by rows of orange and white spots on the inner hind wings, while females have rows of light yellow spots. After mating, the female deposits eggs indiscriminately on prairie vegetation with no regard for proximity to the larval food plant, prairie violets. Young hatch in the fall and over winter without eating. Then in the spring they must find violets on which to complete development. The adult butterflies hatch by mid-June and live through the summer. Females lay up to 2,400 eggs each, far more than most butterfly species lay. Like all butterflies, fritillaries probe wildflowers for sweet nectar. A feeding tube called a proboscis is uncoiled and used to sip the sweet liquid as we might drink from a straw. Busy and preoccupied with feeding, butterflies are easy to approach for a close-up look. In fact, I got some great pictures without getting out of the car. Other butterfly species like painted ladies, great spangled fritillaries, and monarchs were also present. Visit a wildlife area and learn for yourself the secrets that wait there. Kansas Wildlife and Parks has more than 100 public properties ranging in size from less than 100 to nearly 20,000 acres. More information is available on the department website. Visiting them across the state provides a surprising realization of the wealth of our natural resources. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.